Oh my gosh. What? Holy crap. There's the crazy beehives. Those situations are still pretty dangerous. And I think those are the ones that are the most exciting. We're Jeff and Julie. We are specialists in rescuing honeybees. We got a call from a client that had bees that moved into their newly built staircase. So I just lift one of the panels and then sure enough, boom, there's thousands of bees. They love these little compartments with those cast iron plates on top. They were going crazy and they were all over me. By the thousand. And so it was like overwhelming because if you were sweating or if you got any honey on you, they were just all over your skin. The key thing is to make sure that we get the queen. Check out the color and the pattern on this queen. She's gorgeous. Wow. And when we spot the queen, we usually grab her by the wings it's always a cool experience to grab a queen and hold her and realize that this is like a really special little bug that is followed by thousands and thousands of other little bugs. And I have her in my hands and now I have to make sure that I take care of her. She's oh, pretty. Oh, she is. Aww. So I'll put her in a cage. And the bees will actually smell this special pheromone that the queen gives off. And what they'll do is they'll start marching into the box or flying into the box. I'm kind of angry that there's still companies that are so quick to exterminate bees. Yeah, it's frustrating. There's still tons of companies killing bees. A vacuum is like the easiest way to suck them up. I can tell somebody's messed with this hive. There's a little bit of honeycomb on the ground here. Luckily, found a queen. There she is. She's doing okay, so I think we got a good situation here after all. We don't have to use any vacuums. The way we do it is we think it's humane because we were taking them without using any chemicals. If they're in your home, don't call a pest control company. Just think of them as really important to our agriculture. You can find somebody that'll take the bees alive without killing them. They don't want to sting you. They're just going around pollinating and getting their nectar and all that stuff. They're just minding their own business. We're spreading awareness about these cute little creatures. People are starting to recognize how cute these little bees are and they know how good they are for the earth. And obviously bees are suffering. A lot of it has to do with what humans do to this world and it affecting them, whether it's pesticides or climate change. Don't think of bees as pests. They're our friends. They do this work for us that is so essential to our survival and we need to really appreciate them and see them for what they are. This wonderful magical creature that makes the sweetest thing on earth.